guys, this is Bobby Jones calling again, and I can only talk for a few minutes because my girlfriend Maggie's in the bathroom doing a number two, and she'll only be in there for a little bit. And she'd kill me if she found out that I was talking about our problems on the air. Bobby Jones, welcome back. Welcome back, Bobby. It sounds like this is serious. What? What? Fill us in. What are the details? Well, she's been back for a week now, a little over a week, and we're having trouble in the bedroom. You mean Uh-oh. like uh, coordinating the drapes with the carpet? No, this is more of a sexual nature. Oh, that kind of oh, right. in the bedroom. Well, in that case, tell us more about your problem, Bobby. <laughs> is this well? Uh, it, it started off good. The first night was great. I made a dress up as Hillary Clinton with the big pink ta- uh, lapels and the black jacket because <laughs> I like to pretend I'm having sex with powerful women. And well. After that night, it all went bad. <laughs> How so? I don't. It sounds like a perfect beginning to a romance. Well, the next night, I brought home some walkie-talkies because I wanted to have anonymous sex, and I wanted to pretend she was the fast food girl at the McDonald's drive-thru. So I had her go on the other side of the door to the bathroom and take my order, and it all just fell apart after I ordered the large fries with a then my hair even turned. <laughs> you ordered a large fries with a what? A semi-hairy vagina. Only semi-hairy. Is that the part she objected to? Yes, because she's really hairy, <laughs> and she took it as if I was looking for something else in the relationship. Something like other than girl. her. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. a sticky wicket right there, my friend. Well, what are you going to do so about it, Bobby? <laughs> Well, the next night we we tried edible underwear and that didn't work at all. What did it taste like? Yeah, what flavor did you get? I, I oh, she bought them all. I can guess is she got them at Taco Bell because she tasted like a three day old chalupa. <laughs> and it that night it turned me off. So first it was good, then it was her turned off, then it was me turned off, and then well, the next night got even worse. Just not connecting in the bedroom. Well. Hmm. I can't relate to that. I don't know. I I don't know how to. Ex- uh, it's hard to offer advice to that. I you just, know. I, I find know. that there's really just the ultimate cure all to any sexual problem, and that's the uh, pig and demons pizza flavored sex jelly. It basically turns on anybody at any time. So you slather some yeah. some pig and demons pizza flavored sex jelly all over her ladia parts. That's ladia parts, and uh, you know, let it do its thing. Just remember not to actually apply it directly to the skin because it will leave, uh, you know, a sort of ir- irreparable scarring. Does that come in pepperoni flavor? Does it come in pepperoni flavor? Comes in nine fantastic flavors! 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 Well, so I have a choice. Do you deliver? <laughs> well, how else do you get pizza flavored sex jelly? Is there a charge for delivery? Uh, of course there is. Absolutely, Bobby, yes. It's we'll, very large. We'll have our secretary take care of that after we leave the call. Hey, wait, Bobby, what's that? Did I hear just the flush sound? Oh, boy. Maggie's coming. I got to get off the phone, guys. But thank you so much. I appreciate your time. <laughs> All right. Thanks for calling in, Bobby. And remember, call back and tell us how it went. Yeah, tell us how it went after the, the sex jelly incident. I will. I got to go. All right. Talk to you later, Bobby. Uh, another satisfied customer on the Pig and Demons show. I, you know, Nagflar, there's one thing I can't pat myself. Uh, there's virtually nothing that a Pig and Demon prog- product will not solve the problem.